it's become a very popular. The question was, do I support raising the cap on Social Security taxes so that rich people pay their fair share? You know, there was a time in this country that we didn't celebrate attacking people based on their success. And, uh, uh, and when we didn't uh, go after people because they were successful. And, and I, I happen to think, I watched this president, I've watched this president go across the country attacking people. And I, uh, and I, uh, uh, if you want to speak, you can speak. But, but right now it's my turn. So let me continue. And that is this. All the streets in America are connected. I've watched people attack Wall Street. You know what? We're, we're connected. We're not going to uh, tear down other Americans. We want to make sure people do pay their fair share. Half the people in this country pay no income tax at all. All right? So, so when we talk about fair share, we've got to think about what, what is a fair share for the American people. But this we know. We don't want to raise taxes on the American people. We don't want to grow government because government is too large already. We want to restrain the growth of government. And when it comes to Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, the truth is the promises we're making 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, and 40-year-olds have to be promises we can keep. And you may say we should just raise everybody's taxes. Do you know what the tax rate would have to be to be able to honor the promises of Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid if we just raise taxes and leave the programs as they are? Right now, those programs combined take a payroll tax out of your earnings of 15.3%. That would have to rise to 44%. We're not going to do that. And so I'm glad you're on Social Security. Hold on just a moment. Hold on just a moment. Hold on just a moment. You know what? I get a chance. I can let you speak in a moment. No, 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 no. I came here to speak, and you'll get to ask a question. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'll let you speak. Hold on a second. Let me speak. Hold on a second. Just let him. Just let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good. It's a great program. We want to keep them. All right. Let's. Okay. Let's let him finish. Let's let him finish. Let's let him finish. What are you going to do to strengthen Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid without cutting benefits? All right. Let's hear. Let's get his answer. Let's get his answer. Okay. Let's. All right. You've had your chance. Anything else you want to say? Well, I'm going to see what you're going to say. Well, I'll tell you. The way this is going to work, the way this is going to work is that you get to ask your question. I get to give my answer. If you don't like my answer, you can vote for someone else. But now it's my turn to give my answer. You ready for my answer? I'm not going to raise taxes. That's my answer. I'm not going to raise taxes. And if you want somebody that can raise taxes, you can vote for Barack Obama. But let me tell you what Barack Obama's doing. Barack Obama is killing this economy. Barack Obama is, because, is why 25 million people don't have jobs and can't find jobs. And the... Okay, next question. We got another question? I got to give it over here. Yes, sir. You've had your turn. I've had my turn. 